Okay, so I know I haven't uploaded or done anything for about a week, but for good reason. I'll show you here what I'm doing. Check this out first, watch this. If you guys like that, I'll show you how I did it in an upcoming video. Been playing around with some lighting options uh, for the past six months, not telling anybody. Anyways, all the fish are fine. That's not what I've been up to, just a sec. It's raining out, but I gotta show you this. You guys know that the temperature of the aquarium gallery is controlled by a heat bump that heats as well as cools the gallery. I used to have a 12,000, it broke. I replaced it with a 12,000. I decided these are just cheap brands. I'm gonna return them. Replaced it with a 15,000 BTU uh, heat pump. That's actually not what the week has been about. What's up, Gary? Gary's here for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what tomorrow's video is about here shortly. Insane, can't wait. Highly demanded. In fact, you guys have literally been demanding I do this. So it's coming out. Uh, what have we actually been doing is begins inside. Oh, everything's so wet now. Remember the, uh, the saltwater aquarium that we used to have right here? I said it's gotta go because this wall's gonna go. Well, I never ended up tearing the wall down, but we did cut a hole in it. Just kind of did a small renovation to the kitchen instead. What I really wanted was gonna take at least a month and a tremendous amount of money. I said, well, let me just do a facelift instead. Uh, and we'll go from there. We had a problem moving the saltwater tank though. Bottom line was, I was so busy trying to get so much done. Did some shortcuts and I broke the tank. Oh, remember when I flooded this room and I had to replace the floor? Also did that this week. So we renovated the kitchen, replaced the floor, moved the saltwater aquarium, which is here, but we broke it on the way down. And this guy's doing actually quite well. Before we get to the broken part, let's just take a look at the aqua. Hey, hey Gary, you want to cut the lights? We're getting some reflection here. Go Gary, go Gary, go. All right. So look, the scape is different. You guys will remember I used to have like almost almost an archway. I decided this time, based on how he's developing and how he acts, he'd probably prefer a much op more open space with only a few crevices. So what I've done here is created almost like a slope. It kind of uh, curves around. We'll take a look at it from this angle here so you can get a good idea. Um, so it kind of comes out from this wall and goes around to the other wall, almost like a U. We've created a bit of a cave system here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this is a lionfish, saltwater lionfish for those that don't know. Pretty awesome guy. Uh, and it just comes out here. Anyways, we need the lights again. I'll get it this time. So let me know if you guys like that scape first and foremost. Do you like the floor better than the warped flooded floor? Let me know that as well. Uh, bottom line is, uh, oh, I need to fix the wall. Ugh. So many little things I need, still need to do. I broke the tank underneath of it when we moved it. So this is an all-in-one system, as many of you guys know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this or not. And the problem is, is that with all-in-one systems, they have their own plumbing supplies. I removed all the plumbing, but didn't remove the bulkheads. I was like, ah, oh, let's just move it quickly. And I cracked one here. Now with an all-in-one system, it means that they have like pr propri proprietary, proprietary, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what word you're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> this means that the pieces that come with it are probably specific to the system. You got to replace it with those. So the tank basically sat just running with a power head and the rock in it with the fish. Totally fine anyways. Um, and I was going to order the part. Then I realized, why don't I just replace the bulkhead and the entire part? A further bottom line, I'm not buying another all-in-one system regardless how good of a price second hand. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's super cheap, but ultimately I think I'm just going to continue to plumb my own tanks. Broke the tank, fixed the tank, got finished the, the kitchen entirely, laid the floors out here. Everything else has been perfectly fine, uh, but it took all week, been going non-stop. Really didn't have the energy or interest to make a video. You guys know that I, I, I only make a video if I'm excited to show you something. I was just simply uh, tired from, you know, uh, everything else. Uh, we do have a bit of a casting couch here now, so Gary, if you want to come over for your interview, uh, we can get that started. So, when's the last time you moved a fish tank? Okay. What day is it? <laughs> so here's something we're going to do. Tomorrow's video, and I know this is a random video, but I'm just, I just, if I didn't do this video, I wouldn't have brought you guys up to date. You would have flooded me with questions with how everything else went. Everything's fine. Uh, tomorrow, you guys have, uh, I told you I would do a hand feeding of all of the predator fish out in the gallery. Let me give you a preview. Gary, can we go out there? Yes. All right, let's go. Okay, so you guys, uh, I said I would do a hand feeding if you got if I got like 10,000 or 20,000 likes on that video we did a while ago. You guys did that in a day. I would love it if you thumbs up this video just to give us a little motivation because today we are doing the hand feeding, vid hand feeding video and you guys will see it tomorrow. 
Uh, you're getting back-to-back -back videos. Uh, but they were doing it with a bit of a twist. I'll give you an idea of some of the fish we're going to be hand feeding. The exodons, the peacock cichlids, the 375, the Asian arowanas, the peacock bass tank or pond, <laughs> Frank's tank. The lights will be on for the video. They're just off right now. Him and Francine are doing absolutely fantastic. Ugh, if I don't turn the lights on, they're going to flip out at me. Okay, Frank's tank. <laughs> Him and Francine are doing fantastic. I gave him a little bit of wood in the tank. Um, it's mostly for Francine because Frank wasn't doing it. Uh, but we'll be hand feeding these guys as well. And then of course, come on Gary. Come in. <laughs> the lionfish tank. Now of course we're gonna be doing this with a spit of a spin. We've got some challenges. We've got some repercussions if the person won't do it. Uh, it's just a fun video. I need it after the week that we've had. Um, but ultimately, I hope that you guys tune in tomorrow for that video. And if you are looking forward to it, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up as well, please. Uh, I haven't made a video for over a week and uh, I'm just happy to be back. Sometimes things come up and you know, you just gotta get them done and then jump right back into video. I always have you guys on my mind though. Uh, I make that sound weird? That, that, that was weird. I like it. Sorry. See you tomorrow.